Okay, so let's go ahead and get into some practice problems. So for this first one, I am told that the measure of angle LKN is 145 degrees. And then now I want to find the measures of the other two angles. So it can be a little, I guess, overwhelming looking at all of these letters for the angles. It's just important to look at this picture to see what that represents. So I see that this measure of angle LKN, see L, K, N, that is my entire angle. So I know from my angle addition postulate that that entire angle is equal to the two other parts that make up it. So the L, K, M plus M, K, N. Well, now I'm just going to go ahead and substitute what values I know for that. So I'm told in the directions that this measure of angle LKN is 145 degrees. And then the measure of angle LKM, so LKM, well that's equal to 2x plus 10. And the measure of MKN is equal to 4x minus 3. So I have this equation, so now I want to solve for x. So I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms on the right hand side. So I can add 2x plus 4x to get 6x. And then 10 minus 3 to get 7. I want to get x by itself, so I'm going to go ahead and move that 7 to the other side by subtracting 7. And so when I do 145 minus 7, I get 138. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 6. And 138 divided by 6, I get 138 divided by 6, I get 23. Okay, but I am not quite done yet. So I found what x is equal to, but the question asked me to find the measure of angle LKM and MKN. So I'm going to start with LKM. Well again, LKM, that was this 2x plus 10. So to find out that angle, I know that x is equal to 23. So I'm just going to substitute in that for x. So I have 2 times 23 plus 10. Well, 2 times 23, I get 46. And so I get 56 degrees. Okay, and then to find the measure of angle MKN, I can do this a couple of different ways. One way I can do is to go ahead and do the same thing I did over here, substitute in 23 for X. So, oh, that's not right. 23 times 4, I get 92. And then 92 minus 3, I get 89 degrees. So that is method 1. Another way you can do it is I know that the measure of angle LKN is 145. I found that this one is 56. So another way I can do it it's just doing 145 minus the measure of the first angle I just found. And I see I get 89 degrees there as well. So you can do it either way, whatever makes most sense to you. But go ahead and pause the video and I want you to try and do that next one on your own. Okay, so this is the answer that you should have gotten for number two. You should have gotten that the measure of angle ABD was 24 degrees and DBC is 119. And this was really similar to what we did in problem one. Okay, let's try number three. So number three says that given that EFG, angle EFG is a right angle, find the measures of EFH and HFG. 
So right angle, if you remember that from yesterday, that means it's a 90 degree angle. So now when we're setting it up, I know that first off that that whole angle EFG is equal to the smaller angles inside it added together. Well, measure of angle EFG, that's going to be 90 degrees since it's a right angle, and that's going to equal to EFH, which is 2x plus 2, plus HFG, which is just x plus 1. Next, I'm going to combine my like terms. So I have 2x plus x to get 3x, and then 2 plus 1 to get 3. Next, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides, and I get 87 is equal to 3x. And then I'm going to divide 87 by 3, and I get that x is equal to 29. And then now, just like before, I'm going to go ahead and plug that back in to find my other angles. So I'm going to go ahead and find the measure of angle HFG first, just because that one's easier. I'm going to plug in 29 for x, and so I get 29 plus 1, which is just 30 degrees. And I know the whole angle is equal to 90, and so I'm going to subtract what I just found, the 30, to get that the other angle measure is 60 degrees. You go ahead and pause the video and try to do that last one on your own. Okay, these are the answers that you should have gotten on that last one. So you should have gotten 125 degrees and 55 degrees. This, for this one, I again showed the other way of that you can just go ahead and plug in your value for x to find that second angle, and you'll still get the same answer. But if you notice, if I did go ahead and do 180 minus 125, that still would have been 55 degrees. So either way works. Okay, that's it for today. If you want some extra practice, you can do those below. If you need extra examples, that is also right below these videos. Otherwise, you can go ahead and move on to the assignments. And again, if you ever have any questions, you can inbox me and I can help you through those homework problems. Have a great rest of your day.